Dog Gadgets. Live! Hey everybody, uh, I'm Josh hey. from Brown Dog Gadgets, and as always, I'm here with Pete, except now we're in a new live streaming studio. And I have a microphone. Pete has a nice microphone. <laughs> He's got one of these, um, except it's silver. Uh, anyway, so we're we're still getting things kind of going in our, our new warehousey um, live streaming setup. So things are. Did you move the bricks over from the old studio? We did. All okay. the bricks are Ooh, actually since the they same. were they were imported from. <laughs> I'm still messing with this at a, from Tuscany. Let's just say that's a place. Wow. Uh, they're 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 heavily imported bricks. Indeed. They're only the finest. BrownDogGadgets.com, your source of bricks. Um, so anyway, yeah, we've been spending a long time moving over here, uh, last couple of weeks, construction and whatnot, so we haven't been live streaming as much as we used to. Um, that being said, if you like our live streaming and the things we're doing, please follow us on one of these many social media links. Yay! We're going to keep starting to live stream more and more, especially with all the microbit stuff that we're doing. Uh, now that we have this wonderful setup that's two, two-thirds-ish of the way done back here, we're spent like our afternoon hanging up sound panels, sound dampening panels, because it's a warehouse, so it's a little echoey, kind of. We've been trying really hard. Uh, but anywho, so uh, yeah, we're back doing fun stuff. Our Bitboard Kickstarter finished. That was really awesome. That's our, our Lego-compatible micro uh <coughs> project on Kickstarter, which, by the way, Pete, as, as uh, Pete will mention here, you can totally still get that on our website at the Kickstarter prices, just um, on our website. So, uh, th there we go. So I'm a lot of practice here. Pete, anything to add? Hello, everyone. That's all. <laughs> all right. Pete's got all the sound effects going down, uh, which I still can't hear because I refuse to wear headphones when doing live streaming. Oh, okay. But we, we hope to do some more live streaming stuff now that we have things up and at them and yeah. going. And we've been building a whole set over to my left over here um, to, to do some more uh, finished video stuff. But it's been a... <laughs> It's been, it's been a pretty hectic three weeks. Yeah. And again, hey, Pete, happy Election Day. Um, For, yeah, election, uh, well, voting ends tonight, I believe, right? And then counting starts and, yeah. Yes, here in Wisconsin, uh, they legally cannot start counting mail-in votes until today. Yeah. So we've had a lot of fun stuff, Wisconsin. You know what? Vote for brown dog gadgets. I mean, not like on your ballot. Hey, hey Pete, should people vote for copper foil tape? <laughs> No, where's my oh. sad trombone? Do not vote for copper foil. No, what you want is maker tape right there. Oh, we're back, people. We're back. Yeah, you got it. So uh, we have a project to show off because we've been working on a bunch of microbit stuff on and off. We showed a lot of our stuff off for our Kickstarter campaign, and we're now been slowly working on our curriculum as well for our microbit classroom sets, which easily translates into projects for individual users as well, whether or not you're using our Bitboard kit. Most of the stuff that you're doing can also be done with a micro bit and other components, but it's much, much easier, and then you can do a lot more with our bit board. Yay. Mm -hmm. So let's switch to the overhead camera. So. Overhead. Wah. So here we are, Crazy Circuits bit board over here, and that's our fun, fun-filled Lego-compatible board with our micro bit plugged into the top. So those should be showing up from China sometime this month. F fingers crossed. Uh, we have that. We have a few other parts as well. We're adding into the kit some uh, special AA battery holders, sorry, AAA battery holders like this guy here, only not hand soldered together with appropriate connect connection on it for our stuff. We've got some new USB cables, some right angle ones, which are really, really handy for using with a micro bit that is standing vertically like this. Uh, but anywho, let's get to this project. So we've been having a lot of fun with these cheapo, cheapo, cruddy xylophones. <laughs> off of Amazon. They're like $6, I think. There's a bunch of companies selling the same ones. They sound horrendous. <laughs> um, however, they're inexpensive, and you get a pretty much a full octave-ish um, with it, and they're inexpensive. And we can easily make some fun musical instruments that are automated with that. Now, in the past, I believe we showed off um, this kind of setup where we were using um, a pre-programmed sound setup. So you could press the buttons and it plays each note individually, or you could hit one of the two main buttons on the on the uh, micro bit and it would play a song that was already pre-programmed in there. Kind of simple as you do, but we also wanted to take things a step further and use one of our favorite sensors, the distance sensor down here, little ultrasonic distance sensor, which I'm going to show right here. Ooh. These are pretty common little, little sensors. You can find them on Amazon galore or wherever. If you have any sort of like 
basic programming kit you've purchased, like a bundle, there's bound to be a few of those in there. Um, it's just, it's an ultrasonic, uh, like a sonar based essentially sensor where one of these guys is the output sending an ultrasonic signal. The other one is listening for that signal, how long it takes to come back, little pulses. So much like a bat or a dolphin, uh, the friendliest creatures in the ocean, uh, they will, uh, it'll tell you how like a location distance. So pretty accurately too. Like it's surprising how accurate this little guy can be within a centimeter of where your hand actually is. So it's pretty fun to do that with a variety of other inputs and outputs. But in this situation we have the notes tied to distance. So I'm gonna turn this guy on. We'll see how well this works here in the setup. turn that off. So all we have is keyed in here that a certain distance reading mm -hmm. equals a certain note value. Now again, like when we had set this up um, ages ago, one of the first things we had people do in the project uh, is build it and then figure out where all your notes are. So what uh, position your surfer has to be in to hit this note, this note, this note, and then basically you make a chart. You want to hit G over here, whatever note this is. It has to be at angle 22. Uh, so it just, you, basically make a chart. And this would be the same thing here where you have uh, those different uh, servo settings based on the distance reading off of here. Now, Pete, would you like to show off the, the write-up you did on this? Oh, sure. Yeah. Pete let's, did a nice, Pete, it's all, by the way, this is all documented on our website. So um, you can totally make this out of a variety of things. Simple servos, we're using our little Lego servos here because we have things in a Lego environment. We have just used some gaffers tape, <laughs> which is just a fabric tape. So we have a bunch of around here because we're in the studio uh, to tape it down so it's nothing fancy. Um, but yay. All right, let's see if this works. Oh! Here's our uh, little write up on this thing. Uh, let's see, I'll unmute myself. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, one of the early steps, uh, there's a little diagram explaining it, one of the early steps says, hey, if you haven't already built the, our xylophone, because we, we did a guide, you know, for the older version, and this is just an upgrade, adding in the uh, distance sensor, you can see right there, it's, I just blew it down, it's great. Um, so, yeah, I just removed one button, because we use that pin for the, uh, the sensor and uh, tells you how to plug that in. And then here's a look at the, the code there. So yeah, basically it's just checking, you know, again, for a certain distance. You can put in any distance you want, really, and then it plays, uh, you know, strike note, and it tells you what note to play. So. Well, and the thing is, too, before we started doing this, we noticed that the, uh, the distance was set way too far for, like, the studio setup. Yeah. Like, it was just going off by hitting the wall, like, five feet away. So, um, yeah. Pete just went and quickly changed the distance amount yeah, from each pin. Numbers, little. Yeah, so you can, you can make it, you know, one, two, three, four, five centimeters for each one. I mean, it's, that's a nice part about it. It's easy to change about. Now, um, if you want to make things really kind of fun with students, uh, you could easily make it, like, use a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper and then chart out where each of those notes are, measure things out. So you can have your hand come down at different spots. Um, so A, A, B, B, C, yeah, whatever. So you can play songs with them. So this would be a great way of like building a piece of a digital music device. It's not quite a theremin. That would be the world's first uh, all electric music device was the theremin, Pete. <laughs> there you go. Oh yes, the woo, uh, those are great. Um, but this is just kind of a fun project. Now, Pete, could we do this with say an Arduino as well? You could. Yes, you could, which you will be could. a project. We'll post at some point yeah. in the future using one of our robotics boards. Cause yeah. It's two servos and a distance sensor. Josh, I, and one fun thing about this project is uh, the day I, I got it working, um, I think you and I had to go, we had to run somewhere to pick up some stuff, so I left it in on my desk, turned on, and then uh, Andy came back from lunch, and he walked in, and it ping, ping, started plinking and kind of scared him a bit. So, you know, again, this is... You could think of all sorts of fun things to do with something like that. Oh, yeah. So the distance sensor is a great thing to do. I love to have it trigger effects is one of my... Well, we're yeah. now past Halloween. Now. But you have, you have the winter holidays coming up soon. So just using it as a, as a trigger. So when uh, you know, that somebody walks by or, or whatnot or something moves, something happens. And guess what? With a new micro bit, you have a built-in in piezo. So you could have sound effects. Yeah. But you could play a nice Christmas tune. Jingle bells, for instance, would be very easy on here. 
Um, a lot of a lot of wonderful. You just got to get a decent xylophone, which, by the way, is something we're gonna be doing here. We actually bought a nicer xylophone. This is this is no sorry. Whoa, the, the fish, Glockenspiel. Glockenspiel. There we go. The the German <laughs> word for it. Because uh, when they get nice, they're called glockenspiels, not That's xylophones. Right. That's how you know you've got like the you good one. It. And even was it? I think it was like there's 40. a button I have on this control that says glockenspiel. I'm gonna press it. Right. Beautiful sound. Yeah, we uh. Yay, good stuff. <laughs> so we definitely, definitely uh, enjoy, enjoy doing this. Uh, but we're going to be uh, doing like a nicer version of this. Hey, Pete, any comments? Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, here's one. Ooh. We got one that says, make some noise. Look at that. That guy, he's a good looking fella there. Who is that? Uh, some other Pete. <laughs> It's only comments. Yeah, we've I been out. We've people not are done. watching other things today. It's true. That's why I made something fun. This is basically a sound audio test day for us. We're like, well, let's show this off. It's a sound audio test day. Let's just do that. Oh, we got a question here. Could you guys hear me banging that? What does that even mean? Oh, a- Andy's our, our curriculum. <laughs> Andy, he's uh, in like the next warehouse over since we have two setups here. Right. And no, I cannot hear Andy banging away on. He's building some shelves. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, Andy, we didn't hear you. All right, cinder block. Uh, so yeah, we just uh, yay for the studio setup we've got going on. We're we're sure. trying to get things going. It's definitely a much bigger, bigger space, and maybe we'll do a tour at some point yeah. of like check out our crib. I don't I don't know what I'm BDG about twenty tour. years behind of things. Yeah, lifestyles of the rich and famous. No, it's like the '80s. I don't, I don't know, but we we're still in the process of building things. We got our photography area all set up. We've got live streaming area, and we have a, a set we're gonna. We're going to start building on Monday, yeah. so we can have a, a, a nice little classroom set up to, to uh, do some, some final, or I guess, finished videos, pre-recorded video, um, as opposed to live video, because yay. But anyway, yeah, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. So yay. Um, but this is a great project. Um, Microbit is fun. Our Bitboard is, is pretty darn easy to use this with Microbit, because you just can plug in your servos and your distance sensor directly into the board and your microbit in here, you have mm-hmm. buttons to use. So that's the Crazy Circus Bitboard. Shipping later this yes. month, provided yes. everything shows up on time from China. You got it. Yeah, anything to add on this project, Pete, since you built it? I mean, it's, um, it's pretty straightforward, I think. The hardest thing is just, I guess, mapping out where all the notes are. Yeah, 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 yeah just figuring out the angles. I th- and again, with the... Uh, the original uh, guide we had, it kind of explained how to, how to do that. So. Now, the distance sensor is a fun one. Now, you want to get really fancy. What you do is you use a te- the temperature sensor built into the micro bit or the light sensor built in the micro bit and then uh, key this to those, those settings. So as temperature changes in the room, like every so often, it just like <laughs> bing, like, oh, the temperature, or the temperature goes up or down. Maybe you could do that yeah. way. Whenever there's a change in temperature, like the note goes higher or lower. Oh, okay. sure. So it's like a high note, bing. Oh, we've gone up a degree. Uh, maybe like an alarm goes off, like bing, 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 when you hit like a certain amount. Yeah. It's the, the thermostat issue. Here in Wisconsin, we call that when your parents say, I'm not made of money, go put another sweater on. Wow. wow. Yeah, you're like that's... it's only 55 in the house, mom. You're like, oh my gosh, kids are spoiled. Could you maybe you could add a could we add a light sensor and then you know it could be your alarm clock in the morning. Well, yeah, because uh, the microbit has a built-in light sensor. Yeah, yeah, it does. So it uses the LED matrix on the front, the red LEDs, to act as a very basic light sensor. It's not super accurate, but it's enough to differentiate differentiate light and dark, yeah. um, which is kind of nice. Um, so you can do some basics with that. So now, uh, thanks. This is. Our microbit. No, this is one of the original microbits. We have a microbit version two around here somewhere. Um, but I mean, we've also talked about using like the accelerometer in the microbits. Oh, yeah. We actually we have a. You do the two things. A thing we use two microbits. One of them with the accelerometer and Bluetooth over to the other one, so you, you can just like move it around to do different fun things or yeah. get readings, and then control a xylophone with that. So. Yeah, we have a lot of fun things we can do with microbit. Microbit, yeah. um, yeah. if you want to get super micro bitty. Uh, so, and if you want to see something, leave a comment. You know, we'll, we'll probably build it if it uh, sounds cool. It's true. If your project is decent uh, and you have a yeah, we like building things. So, yeah. um, we definitely have the, the fun space now. Now they have literally have a room now for all of our like prototyping stuff. It's just not cluttering our warehouse up. We turned our big old, our old studio is like half a hallway and half, um, 
like our maker maker room with a really really tall ceiling but we're we're in the process of of getting things going with there but our goal is to make a gigantic sound wall and also a nice large lego wall for for doing projects on raccoon detector see that's what i was waiting for ben nelson to pop in with his raccoon stuff ben, ben nelson's our, our uh now and then video guy coming in here helped us do some of the setup and uh Ben uh, has like raccoons on his porch <laughs> yeah, in Wisconsin. Which he likes. He does. He's a fan, I guess. So he's been trying to find ways of using like a distance sensor to like let him know when there's raccoons or possums on his porch. So he can, I don't know, take photos, throw candy at them. He, yeah. he likes his wildlife. He was feeding them peanuts for a while, but he's spending like $100 a week on peanuts. I think. Plus, they have raccoons just, they're not, <laughs> they get big around here. Like, the ones yeah. like in our industrial park here where we're at, uh-huh. they're large. They pop out of the sewers at night, Pete. I've seen them. I yeah. came back here one evening to get something. I'm just like, holy crud, what's that down the middle of the road? Is that a dog? Like, no, it's uh-huh. just a big raccoon. I saw one take down a moose. Really, a uh, moose? No. no. Mouse. Mouse, sorry. Mouse. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, even a praying mantis will now and then take down a, a vertebrate. So, I mean. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the fun. Uh, praying mantis is taking down the occasional hummingbird or mouse or lizard. Yeah. Josh, what's that clock on the wall say? The clock on the wall says three o'clock. I can't see it because it's behind the light. Actually, that's the problem. Now that I'm sitting here. It's like all right. It's behind. The, it is uh, three twenty. Cool. Do we have any more for today? No, we go over. I'm done. We put a clock there so we can see like how much time we've used. Um, we're just trying to think. Like, Where's everything going? And our green screen's working way better now that we have these. Uh, yeah, we have like right. floodlights on the green screen over right. here. Although I was, uh, I want to say maybe having some. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. I was gonna try putting it over here. Yeah, we need to have. We have so many lights now. All right. Well, see, there we go. So you know, we got the even green screen behind us, and we could, you know, Pete could change us to all sorts of fun backgrounds if he wanted to, but he's not going to because. Oh, look, at look at that. So here we do have a guide on this distant xylophone, as we're calling it. It's right there. Shows you how to build it. Back to you. All right, we're good. Um, Peter, are you on mute over there on your microphone? Um, oh, it was on mute. Yeah, I was saying, yeah. I'll just leave it on all the time. Just leave it on all the time now. We, we, um, leave it all the time. I guess, yeah, we, we do that. It's like a sound test day. <laughs> Sound testing, like screw it. This is just a test. Um, yeah, Pete, make sure your your headset microphone is off, but the uh, echo, echo, your Yeti is 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 on. Yes, it's Yeti stereo microphone two. Ooh, numero, numero dos. We got we got midnight edition, and we got like silver fox edition. Okay. Anyway, we got like the. Uh, Richard Gear version over yeah, there. Yeah, there's a button here that says ending. So just we're we're getting the show. We're back maybe back tomorrow with another project. We're trying to get back into the habit of live streaming at three o'clock every day at Brown Dog Gadgets. Be sure to follow us on one of these many social media links. We really do like if you follow us. Um, and we'll be putting out some more emails and stuff about the Bitboard. He's just clicking all of his little overlays now because he's just he's bored. Look at that. Oh, stop being so negative. Look at that negative micro bit. Oh, look at that. Oh no, we have a Nazco thing tomorrow too. Yeah. yeah. Got Nazco. Oh, Nazco. Now that we can now we get this set up, we can do the Nazco. We have, we have, we do streaming. By the way, with Nazco Education, uh, most Wednesdays we do that. So yeah. um, I don't know what topic we're doing tomorrow because I always forget. I don't know. But oh, there we go, Nazco Education. <laughs> hey Jordan, you're not watching this, but he, he's our contact there. <laughs> so right. we'll be doing that tomorrow. We'll be back. So we're doing Thursday a lot of live streaming. So Thursday. adios, everybody. Thanks for All watching. Right. All right. We should move our clock. There we go. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please visit RoundDogGadgets.com for parts, projects, and curriculum. Follow us on social media at BrownDogGadgets. Check out our live streams at Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We'll see you next time.